Did you hear it? When I started to read that story, did you hear it? The room actually got quieter. A hush fell over this place. It's like this story is something that, even though we've heard it time and time again, and many of us, some of us 80 sometimes now, have heard this story, it's the same reading every year on Christmas Eve. Even that wasn't happening. Did you notice that? There were kids talking and joking and laughing all through the singing at the beginning, and then the story came. And it was like everybody quieted down to listen. Because even though it's something that we've heard, it's still something that intrigues us. It's something that moves us. It's something that lives within us and makes us wonder and fills us with anticipation and hope. But do we actually see it? I wonder how many women gave birth 2,020 years ago this night. Or 2015, depending upon how you want to do your math and when you want to say Jesus was born. How many women gave birth that night? How many women are giving birth tonight? I don't even want to venture a guess. I guarantee you, though, there was more than one person giving birth that night. And why is it that we remember this one young, insignificant woman on this night over 2,000 years later? There was no room in the inn. There was no room for them to stay anywhere. And and we say that they laid the baby in a manger. Because she wrapped him up and laid him down in the manger. And we wonder. Even at a story that we've heard over and over and over again. But do we actually see it? What is it about this one birth that made the world stand still when Augustus sent out a decree that everyone needs to go and Quirinius was governor and all of these things happened, yet this one insignificant girl and this one insignificant man gave birth to a baby? who we now know as king. Many babies become kings, right? There's a lot of babies that are born that then become kings. There are not a lot of kings that become babies. Jesus took on our form, took on our mortal being to come here to show us exactly what love is. And if it wasn't for God opening up the heaven and sending the herald of the angels to those meek and lowly shepherds out in the field, would we even have seen this happen? Would we even have known that Jesus was born? If it wasn't for the fact that God orchestrated it all. And that's what I wonder. On this night of nights as we gather to worship our King who is born to us, who comes into this world as a baby, who takes on our nature and our lot to learn what it is to be like us, so that we can know how we can live as Him. Do we see it? Because you see, God is at work each and every day all around us. In the little things that happen. Someone stopping to open a door for you. Someone saying hello when you're having a bad day. The little things. Where God is at work and do we even notice, do we even see it happening? We don't need a herald of angels to come every time that God does something for us to help us see it. But do we? See, this story is so familiar, we don't even see the details and we don't even understand it. Because there may not have been a stable 
the end could have been a relative's house. Was she not accepted because she was a 14-year-old unwed pregnant woman? What are the things that we miss because we're too busy trying to figure out what God wants us to see and God wants us to be? What are we missing because we're not paying attention to what God is putting right in front of our faces? So on this night, as we gather together to celebrate the birth of our Savior, the birth of our King, God coming and taking on our form, let us lay aside everything that we could ever hold on to that we think is God and allow God to be who God is and to actually lead us into the lives that He's calling us to. Because if we can set everything aside and accept the life that He's given us, I guarantee you it's going to be a better life than you could have ever possibly imagined or made for yourself. And it's going to allow His light to not only shine into your life, but it's going to allow that light of the coming Christ to shine into the life of everyone around you and will bring forth His reign and His glory in this place. That's what those angels proclaimed to the shepherds. That's what those shepherds proclaimed to everyone else. And that's what God wants each and every one of us to go and do. To herald his love to the nations. To give his grace and mercy to everyone who is in our lives. So set aside who you think God is. And allow God to be who he is in your life. And to shine in and through you. So that all can see his love. And all may know that on this night, Jesus Christ was born for you. For you. And so that all people might know His love.